racer ever, Gordon Jennings or uh, Bob Gettle? Neither one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just told him the plate was wrong. Oh my God. All I can smell right now is... Uh, it stinks. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's what I smell. Pull your burst belt, man. Will does all my talking. Okay, you're representative. Will does my He's camera shy over there. He says you talk for him. You ever lose to a lady crab? I don't think so. All the guys always fell out and broke their legs and drove ladies. Anybody ever get close in any any other boat than a Beesmeyer? I remember the Liberty boat did pretty good a few times. Oh yeah, but they put nitro in it. We were on alcohol. Come on. <laughs> Woodruff at San Diego that he could put all of the, him and Paul could put all the nitro they wanted in that thing. We were still going to blow their doors off and we did. That was what, late 60s, early 70s? What? That was in 71, 72. You were building, you have, in 1970, you've got some boats that, that were this style, that with the long decks. No, 1970, I, they were made in 1967, but I'm, I won the Nationals in 1971, and that's what put the boat going. Before that, nobody paid any attention to it. The boat was designed, was built in 1970. 70's the first one I've seen. Right. But you had some before that? How many? Just a few? Uh, just a few. Just a few, and then in, in 70 you started making a few more? No, in 71's when I went into the boat business. Okay. <laughs> October of 71. I won the Nationals, and I went into the boat business in October of 71. And then we, Bill Beesmeyer, Rusty's brother, worked for us. And that's how the boat thing started. We bought nothing from Rusty. Okay. How many boats would you say in, in your peak of production? How many were you making per year? Of those flat bottoms, I think the most we ever built, I think we built uh, uh, 50 of them one year. 50 was like a, like a peak year? Yeah. And then you sold the molds to... I sold the molds to Norm Brown. Yeah. Yeah. I sold the little mold. Uh, I sold... I think I sold the big mold to Bill Moore. I can't remember. Yeah, Bill Moore had it in that time. So he sold the little one to Norton Brown, Brown, the big one to Bill Moore. Yep. Then it went over to Daytona Boats where they laid them up while Bill owned them. You got it. Who worked in your shop and laid the boats up? A guy by the name of Gary Tinsman. Myself at one time. But anyway, that, that's how it all ended up. Then, then the molds. Hell, there's been a dozen different guys take molds off it. You know that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been splashed in, geez, five, six times at least. At least. Yeah. Did that make you mad when, uh, who was it? Was it uh, Gettle. Gettle that did the well, first one? Court, went to court and spent 10 grand and lost. How could you lose? Just because the deck changed? No, no. The judge that we went before, she told me in the court that she thought it was wrong, but in her court she had no other decision but that. But she recommended we take it to a higher court. I already spent 10 grand, I said, screw it. Just let it go at that point, and then went out and beat him. Went out and beat him. 
thing. Well, so everybody was out to get you, and then you got fed up with it and said, screw this? Is that pretty much no, how it No, I just got tired of it. I, I got tired of going boat racing. But when I went boat racing, I went boat racing. And, after, and, and this sounds very arrogant or egotistic, but the truth is, in the cable, it's just like if me and you played golf every day, and every day you beat me, after a while, you wouldn't want to play golf. <laughs> basic bottom shape is really yep. close to the the, the keel if you take that keel that right keel what line. about the gall and all that no we thing? changed that out on the yeah, side okay. we did that we did that little click on the side and we put the strakes on it and that was it right no and the panels were put in the panel were put in because just like this right here you can twist this baby any way you want okay but once 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 you put the deck on that ties it together. But we put the panels in because I put a little twist in them one way or the other, okay? And we put the deck on and then I put those panels in there and that held the twist. Oh, because that made a box section from there to there. You can't bend it. Right. That's what those were put in there. When did you go to the small stringers? 
Uh, we use hot small stringers. It all depends on what I'm doing. If I ski boats, I put pro stringers. And if I was doing some of my, most of them, I put uh, uh, what was called stair tread. Stair tread is a finished one inch wood rounded on one side. You can still buy stair tread today. It would take a stair tread and split it and make two stringers out of a stair tread. Um, and, and some of them I put some mahogany stringers in. And, and I think I built one of my own. I put uh, stitch to spruce stringers in it. Did you, were you the first one with the balsa floors? or? No, well, balsa floors were around for a long time. Uh -huh. uh, we were one of the first ones to do the solid drive lines in any, any yeah. mass production at all. Right. Uh, Andy Cassell talked me into that, so I put the solid drive lines in. Uh, and a lot of forward mounted motors too, you guys had. And I, uh, everything that I built, the motors were mounted, you're, you're right, the motors were mounted backwards. They, everything I built ran off of the snout. Yeah. Or somebody changed it if it wasn't like that. Yep. When did you meet Billy? Oh gosh, a long time ago. He was a little bitty kid. And uh, he'd come down to the beach. Gordon Jenny was the same thing. Yeah. You know? I mean, he was a little bitty kid. Uh, hell, I don't know. I was probably in my 30s or whatever, 36 or whatever. And he was just one of the kids that came around. You know, man, it's terrible, you know, but when you're doing this, you don't pay any attention to those kids. Yeah. You know, you're, hey, hi, kid, whatever. But you really don't know them, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Because uh, you're so intent on what you're doing. But, right. 67, I was 30, so I would have been 34, and if I'm 20-some years older than Billy, uh, he'd been you know, 10, 11, 12 yeah. years old. They were all kids. I was, uh, and kept hanging around and got oh, to know you a little well, better. Well, yeah, you know, uh, Billy called me on the phone after he got his business over there, one thing to another. That's how I met him. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I, I like Billy. It's all good, bud. Billy, help me! <laughs>